here's my painting. So I have a post-it note here so you can see once it's upside down and what I'm doing on the scanner that this is the top left. I'm gonna open up the scanner and put my painting down face down on the scanner so the top left of the painting, the left-hand side of the painting is being scanned. So I'm gonna close it down and scan it. Go to Adobe Photoshop. And then, you, so you go to file, file, import, WIA support. You just say start. And then it's, it goes to your scanner. Here's my scanner. I'm gonna say, okay. And then I have to adjust my settings. I wanna do custom settings, 300 DPI. If right here, if this isn't 300 DPI, you change it to 300 and make sure it says color picture. And then you say, okay, and then you scan. So now I'm gonna scan it and you'll see half of the painting come up. And then you do the same thing and turn it over so the whole other half of the painting gets scanned. And now you can see it's upside down, but I'm getting the, the right hand side of the painting scanned. So I just did that. Now I'm gonna import WIA support, start, it says Epson, and then I'm gonna to go to custom settings, just check, and it's 300, and then I say scan again, and it's gonna scan the other half of it upside down, because I turned it around on the scanner. This is for a quarter sheet watercolor painting, and if you have a bigger painting, if you had a half a sheet, you would probably need to scan it six times. Okay, so now, you see I have two halves of the painting. This one's upside down and it's a little bit crooked, I see. So I'm gonna rotate and I just turn it around the right way. And I see it's, it's a little bit crooked. So I'm going to go to rotate custom 1% and it needs to go 1% to the right or one angle to the right. So it's just gonna go one little smidgen to the right. Let's see if this one looks straight. This one looks pretty straight. So now I have to choose one of them. I'll choose this one. And I'm going to stretch the canvas size out to the right side so that I can add the other one in and put them both together. So I go to image, resize, canvas size, lock the left middle um, of this square, lock it to the, cause I want the canvas to be on the other side. So I'm locking this side up here on this dot. And then I'm gonna say width, I'll just double it and say 16. And now I have that stretched out to put the other piece in. So now I open the other piece and I go to this little square where it's select, the select thing. And I'm not gonna start at the very edge because at the very edge, it gets like a darker spot. I only need up to about, say this bump in the mountain right here and this little tree. So let me find that spot over here. So it's right around here. So I can just take this much all the way to the end and go to edit, copy. And then I go back to the big version and then I go to edit, paste. And then I choose this little um, plus sign with the arrow on it. And that makes me be able to move this thing around. So now I'm going to just try to put it in the right spot. I think it's about here. And I'm going to go to uh, view actual pixels and then check. So here's the line. You can see the line right there. So I'm going to move it around a little to see, and I go. I can go up and down and see. Okay, sometimes my scanner does this, but I'm gonna get rid of that dot later. So I'm gonna just go up and down this line here to see if everything kind of matches up pretty well. In that case, it's pretty good. I'm gonna go back to view so I can see it fitting on screen, fit on screen. Now I will 
take the select button here and crop it. Whenever you're cropping your painting for a show, you don't wanna leave any little distracting stuff outside the painting on there. You wanna to try to make it straight and image crop, Oops, crop, okay. Now it's cropped. Now it's still connected, it's still two pieces. They're not connected yet, they're not stuck. To stick them together, you go to layer, merge visible. Now I can't move it anymore. It's all one piece. So I'm gonna go to view actual pixels and I'm gonna go back and find that, that dot. I'm gonna go to this tool right here. It looks like a little stamp. And down here, when you touch that down here, it shows the, I have it like on a blurry and I have it small. So you can see the circle of what it's gonna take. I'm gonna go next to this dot, click Alt and touch the paper. And that picks up that spot. And then I'm gonna cover it up with that. Now I'm going back to the area that I know this is where the line is and I can kind of see the line there. Not really, but I just went, I just did Alt and I touch right here and I can go over that line and with just little bits, just so that the line is not noticeable anywhere. I'm gonna go down the page. I know the line is here somewhere, but it was pretty good fit, so it doesn't show. The next thing I have to do is make sure it looks exactly like the photograph, I mean, the, the painting. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is hold your painting right next to your computer and go to enhance, adjust lighting levels. This is the place where you can make it be, if by dragging this thing over, you don't wanna make your painting, your, your image on your computer look better than your painting. It has to look exactly the same. So I'm gonna go about to about I think here, and that looks pretty much exactly like my painting right there. So I'm gonna say, okay. And then this is a huge size file that's scanned because I scanned it at 300 DPI. This is way too big to put on your website. It's way too big to submit to a show. So you're going to want to resize it. First, you're going to save it because you want the bigger file if you're putting it on Fine Art America or someplace where you're gonna sell prints of it or even if you're gonna wanna make a big print of it yourself. Save it as the big file. Figure out on your computer where you wanna have all of your painting saved, right? For me, I put mine in a folder right here called paintings. And um, I have a folder in my paintings folder called scans. So I open up that folder. It says nothing's in there because over here, it's not chosen to be a JPG, JPEG, JPEG. And I'm going to name this thing um, Diablo. And then I'm going to save it in the folder called scans that's in the folder called paintings. Now I have the big size. So now I'm going to resize it to be the size that you would put on your computer. You go to image, resize, you say, make sure it's 300 DPI. And to make it small enough between one and three megabytes, for a website and entering shows, you can change it to the longest length, which is the width. It's right now 14 inches. I'm gonna save it to be four inches. And you'll notice up here on the pixel dimensions, it changes it to 1,200 pixels. So you can either use pixels 1,200 or inches four on the longest end, and that changes it to the size that you need for entering a show and putting it on your website and posting it on your social media. So I'm gonna say, okay, 
and you can see how much smaller it got. But if you go to view actual pixels, this is how really how big it is really, and that's perfect for uh, show entry, which the, the judge sees it on their computer, so they see it this size, or your website. And then you have to save it again. So I'm saving as, I'm choosing a different folder. In my paintings folder, I'm gonna choose low res scans. And I'm gonna put it in here as a JPEG also. So I have to go back to paintings, low res scans, make sure I'm in the right place. And I'm gonna save it here as a low res scan of my painting. So now I'm finished scanning and sizing. And that's how you scan a painting and make it the right size for a show or making a print of it.